Namaskar Kandilwal and you are watching Indian Masterminds. Today I am at the second edition of Eco Warrior Awards and I have a very special guest with me Mr Anupam Sharma Indian Forest Service officer who is currently posted as DFO Riva before that he was posted as a DFO Sentwa and before that he was posted as DFO Burhanpur. So welcome to Eco Warrior Awards sir. Thank you Namaskar. So first of all I would like to know after this victory of yours when you look back at your uh, work so far which project or initiative do you think are the most uh, significant ones when it comes to bringing a change counting the most significant ones uh, there are many for instance uh, uh, being the part of the team who removed uh, thousands of hectares of encroachment from Burhanpur forests or uh, uh, breaking the nexus of timber smugglers in Sindhwa or uh, reviving the Bheel uh, tribal paintings in Sindhwa only. And now uh, social forestry work in Riva. But uh, out of those, I think uh, freeing the forest area in Burhanpur would be the most impactful. And uh, because uh, the level of impact or uh, uh, the outcome which it had is uh, cannot be compared because thousands of hectares of uh, uh, forest land it is very precious and uh, there can be lakhs of tons of carbon uh, dioxide sequestration there and uh, uh, here I would also like to highlight that it was obviously not my individual effort it uh, was more of a team effort it may be uh, uh, in Sainva it was also team in Burhanpur also it was team in Riva also it is team in Burhanpur uh, I had the support of my seniors also particularly my CCF sir Shri R.P. Rai sir my uh, then Hoff sir uh, then uh, I had support of uh, local villagers also uh, Jangal Bachao Samiti then most importantly my family also including particularly my wife and also my parents that's, that's really nice. So as you shared about this uh, Burhanpurwala initiative, so how did you manage to mobilize joint forest management committees for such a large scale operation? If you could uh, please tell some key aspects of it. Involving or evoking the JFMCs, uh, that was a crucial part uh, of how we could win over, again winning over the uh, hundreds or thousands of hectares of forest land. Uh, probably the, uh, the reasons why they were with us or with the forest department at that time uh, is that they started seeing the outcomes. Uh, we uh, we started many actions, many initiatives. For instance, we had installed uh, temporary check posts, uh, checking points. Then we used to do regular patrolling, which was also monitored at my level. And uh, so we made many arrests also of encroachers. Uh, within just two months, we had arrested more than 30 encroachers okay. and uh, uh, more than 120 encroachers had surrendered. So, this, uh, the, these results, they motivated the villagers. Then we conducted many meetings also. Then uh, uh, there were many instances where uh, I also uh, uh, used to sit with them, stay with them, uh, particularly in Ghagarla schools, Ghagarla forests. So somehow, slowly, uh, the connections, the bondings got developed. Okay, that's that's really nice, sir. So you deployed drones for forest surveillance, right? So what are some of the crucial pieces of information you have obtained that you wouldn't have gotten if it were for any other technology? Uh, drones particularly were very uh, helpful in uh, Burhanpur, I yeah. must say, and also in Sindhwa, yeah. uh, in Riva also. Uh, in Burhanpur, uh, we got many informations which we could not get directly because the situation in Burhanpur was such that uh, our forest team with just dandas, they could not even go uh, close to the encroachers. So uh, we used to fly drones to see the movement, to track the activities of the encroachers. Then uh, our some of our drones were so much high resolution that uh, from a height of around 100 or 200 meters, we could clearly see the face of the encroachers. Okay. Then we could also uh, check the number plate of the JCBs or the tractors which were either cutting down trees or plowing the forest land. So, and at opportune time, opportune moments, we could take action against those uh, tools, equipment and also the persons. 
then uh, some night vision drones also were used to track the movement of encroachers in night also uh, after nepanagar police station was attacked our uh, drone team was uh, very much crucial in giving the intel for police operations सो फॉरेस्ट सर्विलांस के लिए ड्रोन्स यूज करना आई गेस बहुत सारे जगह इसका हो रहा है काम बट ड्रोन्स यूज करना फॉर सीडिंग इज समथिंग न्यू सो हाउ डिड यू कम अप विद दैट आइडिया ऑनेस्टली एंड फ्रेंकली स्पीकिंग इट वॉज मेनली एक्सपेरिमेंटल लर्निंग पर्पज I uh, I also wanted to uh, learn plus I also wanted my team to learn that what can be the utility or the advantages of drones over traditional practices for instance uh, we had selected two sites one was bhalua pahadi which was uh, having a tough terrain so that uh, labor manual seeding was difficult uh, then we also had uh, uh, selected one site hinoti it was uh, after uh, taking the inspiration from a uh, deputy chief minister so there uh, our purpose was to compare the speed of seeding uh, of drones and also versus uh, seeding by human labor yeah. okay so so in your experience what are the biggest challenges facing forest conservation in, in india today and what strategies do you think can address them effectively Uh, biggest challenge uh, i feel would definitely be encroachment yeah. because uh, other challenges for instance maybe forest fires or illegal felling or maybe hunting or poaching they uh, do not create that much impact on environment which encroachment can do uh, the their negative impacts i mean uh, from other challenges they are uh, recoverable but uh, if land is gone forest land is gone an encroachment it is in most of the cases it is irreparable irrevocable so uh, encroachment is the biggest issue okay so so any last word you want to uh, tell about the eco warrior awards 2024 i feel it's a very commendable and much needed initiative uh, india has been a vishwaguru in wildlife conservation uh, be it uh, lion or tiger or ghadiyal uh, or or you name it uh, we have uh, i mean the forest department or india uh, we have got uh, uh, many animals from the brink of extinction plus we are facing we are saving forests even in the backdrop of uh, heavy population pressure and uh, developmental aspirations so uh, to a great extent role of forest officers and also forest team forest frontline staff it is very important and these awards respect and recognize those so commendable okay thank you so much sir for giving your time for this interview and i wish you all the best thank you most of all